All right, and here we are again in series RC circuits. Um, as I explained in the RL series, we are not going to do any of the faults, and by that I mean the shorts and the opens in any of the RC videos, and that is because um, the reaction is exactly the same as in the RL videos. So. Um, just because they are different components does not make the um, it does not make it different. So you see the same sort of process come to pass. All right. Um, so what we are going to do is look at changes in frequency. So for this one, we are going to increase frequency. Now, when frequency goes up, we see a slightly different um, reaction to our capacitive reactants than we do our inductive reactants. Remember, inductive reactants is a straight multiplication formula, whereas capacitive reactants is a reciprocal formula. So when something on the bottom goes up, right, so if we had a quarter, 1 over 4, and then um, we had an 8, which is 1 over 8, the bottom of our um, division formula went up, but our our outcome actually went down because a quarter is larger than an eighth. And so that is what you see in the ohmic values of capacitors when um, frequency goes up. So that frequency is, of course, down on the bottom. So when frequency goes up, we see the output going down. So our capacitive reactance changes. Um, from for our capacitor 1 from 7.32k to 4.08k. And our capacitive reactance for C2 changes from our original value of 18.73k to 10.62k ohms. So both of our capacitive um, reactance values are going down. And if both of those capacitive reactance values going, are going down, our total capacitance is also going down because it is simply the addition of the two numbers. So if both of those new numbers are lower, then the total is also lower. And so it was 26.08k, and now it is 14.7k. We put all of that into our impedance formula, and we find that with one of our numbers staying the same and the other one going down, impedance is actually also going down. So it was 32.84k, and now it is 24.82k. Now, if impedance is going down, then current must be going up because they are inversely proportional. So it was 1.68 milliamps, and now we see that it is 2.22 milliamps, which is larger. Okay, on the voltages. So on R, so on our resistor, the voltage, so the ohmic value stayed the same, but current went up. So it's a multiplication formula. I have one value that stays the same and the other one that goes up, which means that the voltage of R1 is going up. So it was 33.6 volts, and now it is 44.32 volts, which is indeed larger than its original value. Now, my two capacitors, they have changed. Their ohmic values have both changed, but so has current, right? So ohmic values have gone down and current has gone up. But remember when we talked about ohmic values in relation to current, typically the, the changes that you see in your ohmic values are very large, whereas the changes that you see in current are quite small. So when you have an ohmic value and current that is changing, your voltage tends to follow the ohmic value. And that is the case here. So both of the voltages of C1 and C2 are going to decrease along with their ohmic value. And we'll take a look at those numbers. So um, the voltage of capacitor 1 went from 12.3 volts to 9.06 volts, which is down. And the voltage for our C2 went from 31.47 volts to 23.58 volts, which are both decreases. Um, I apologize. I seem to have 
forgot to change the C in the formula and the result of capacitor 2 to a 2. <laughs> but it is indeed the second one. And so we see that when we have um, a increase in frequency, both of our ohmic values for our capacitors go down, which makes total capacitance go down, which makes total impedance go down. And then, of course, impedance and current are inversely proportional, so current goes up. And voltage on our resistor follows current because the ohmic value doesn't change. So it is, it's driven by the changes in current. But our capacitors, both of our capacitors, are driven by those larger ohmic value changes. And um, you can see on this particular rounding scenario, we actually came even closer than we did last time to our 55 volts, and we have 55.04 volts. All right, and that is a frequency increasing in our series RC circuit.